Hello, Dr. Cha. I have heard um, you do lots of four dice spots. Yes, we do at Renew Skin Health Clinic. We do treat four dice spots. Okay. Thank you. Um, can you please clarify what are these four dye spots? Sure. Four dye spots are the abnormal bumps. They can occur on the lips, upper lips or lower lips, more commonly on the upper lips. Um, sometimes they also occur on the softer penis. Um, in other situations, they can also occur on the side of the foreskin, but where I call them as for ice lakes. Um, I haven't heard this term elsewhere, but I call them lakes because the way they appear, um, they are feathery white appearance and they are uh, clustered in one part of the underside of the foreskin. And they can also occur on the vaginal lips, the labia minora, where they one can feel it like granular or um, like sandpaper, if you like. Oh, thank you. That's a great understanding. Thank you for letting us know that. Um, so, Dr. Shah, how do you treat for dye spots? Uh, good question. For dye spots uh, are difficult to treat. This is an issue which is a challenge, big challenge for the clinicians who deal with these issues. They are, in general, they are difficult to treat and difficult to eliminate. Some centers, some centers across the globe, they do uh, treat them with uh, a, a, a technique called micro punch technique. Now, micro punch technique, I particularly don't do micro punch because it is associated with um, complications such as scarring and so on. Therefore, I don't uh, do micro punch. What I do at Renew Skin Health Clinic is I treat them with laser or electrodesiccation. The ablative laser I use, and uh, the good thing about ablative laser is does not leave any scars behind. Uh, for lips, uh, for dye spots, I treat them differently um, than how I treat on the penis or uh, the vaginal lips. Mm, thank you, Dr. Jha, that's very informative. Um, so, Dr. Shah, what sort of people generally approach you to have these four dice sports treatment done in your clinic? Yeah, sure. Um, it is generally younger people, um, and these are abnormal deposits of these uh, um, yellow white um, deposits on the lips. Um, and it is the younger people generally I come across who are concerned about the appearance of their either lips or on the penis and vaginal lips and so on. And uh, these affect them psychologically so much they can't handle it. Um, they lose confidence. There is a self-esteem issue uh, and so on. So therefore, they approach to the clinics to have them removed. But they have to understand it's very difficult to remove them. But yes, they can be reduced um, to a certain degree um, following repeated treatment. Okay, thank you, Dr. Jha. Um, so I have one more question, like, is there any risk associated with for dye spot treatment? A good question. So <clears throat> as I mentioned earlier in my um, conversation with you, that micro punch technique is associated with or a high uh, risk of uh, scars or scarring of the penis or the, um, the other organs where we do micro punch. <clears throat> the technique that I use at Renew Skin Health Clinic has no risk whatsoever of any scarring. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah. So in that way, it is good. Yeah. So is it is it because of the laser uh, which you use? Yes. The laser uh, treatment is more gentler, more mm -hmm. kinder and it does not cause a tissue destruction yeah. and therefore there is no risk of scarring. Yeah, one last question. How happy have your clients have been so far and how much have you treated for how long? Well, I would say I have been treating for dye spots for the last several years and during this time, um, I've treated hundreds of hundreds of clients um, who travel from far and wide, all over the UK, overseas and so on. But the only downside is they have to come 
on um, repeated occasion uh, with certain gaps and I will not go into that details but uh, they are generally very happy with the outcome what they have achieved and they have been leaving some uh, Google review things yes yes they have been leaving good feedback for us good thank you very much to know that Dr. Jha thank you it was thank very you. informative thank you